Hi guys, how you doing? Sir drinks a lot, back at it again. See, I'm getting my bushy beard. I'm probably gonna shave it, I don't know. What do you think, should I shave it? I don't know. Oh, excuse me. Leaving work, end of the day. Beautiful, gray, cloudy, and dreary day. But anyway, <laughs> um, hope you all are doing well. Uh, I, I'm, a, I'm a font, a fount, fountain. I'm in a, uh, I'm a, uh, in the deserts. And, uh, um, my, brain, my brain doesn't work right now. I'm trying to try and do something really fun, cute, but, uh, but positivity. I am a, a positivity. <laughs> oh. It's not a mirage. This where there's, uh, but no, very simple. I am a uh, very happy, um, and uh, checking my f my uh, YouTube's, and uh, I, we have gotten to uh, fifty nine subscribers. That's pretty cool. Thank you very much, everybody. I appreciate that. Welcome in our journey, and I hope you all are enjoying it. Um, to those who are also here from other review ch channels, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, for those of you who are not, who are just writing through, uh, I appreciate you as well. Those of you who feel the need to not subscribe, but leave me encouragement in, uh, my physical well-being and, uh, so on and so forth. Thank you so much. You guys are wonderful but you could subscribe if you're going to be so concerned with my health. I appreciate it. Anyway, that out of the way. Moonshine, unsweet. Go ahead. Yeah. No, I, 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 I really wanted. <coughs> excuse me. I really wanted to try the unsweet. If it had that same kind of a that that tea flavor that's common with moonshine. It's not, like I said, it's not like a powder or a boil. There's a, it's a, it's, it, it tastes a little different to me, but. Yeah, that's how I do it, ladies. Just use my teeth to take off the caps. Bottle caps that are on caps. I, I get it, but like this isn't medicine. Okay, I know you have to like on chloroseptic and other things. They have the the plastic cover where you got to peel that back before you can get to the cap that you have to push down and turn or something. This is not that moonshine. I get it; it's non-alcoholic, but that's unnecessary. A lot of other places do that too. But anyway, um, I'm trying to drink this without reading the info. I should be ashamed of myself, but there are zero calories. For those of you who are interested, um, no, there's like zero of everything, zero all the way down. Nice, no GMOs, by the way. Mmm, does have that that nice, does have that same kind of aroma. I said I'm not much. I. Look at me. I love it. It's like I pointed out. <laughs> Sugar. But a unsweetened tea has kind of its place. Um, this, for example, with moonshine, they make a point of saying, hey, you can heat our stuff up. You know? And I, would, I would, wouldn't mind buying some of this and trying it at home, putting some honey in it, doing that on its own versus sugars or, you know, or something like that. Lazy. There's a okay. I'm not trying to be mean Catholics. There's a Catholic church nearby, very nice church, where every year they do the you know Beavis Jeebus in in a manger, baby Jesus, or uh, as we say to the little children who can't pronounce it properly, BB Um If any of y'all ever heard that before, that's mine. I made that. Baby, I've heard Beavis Jeebus was said 
by uh, one of, by, by my uh, <coughs> by one of my adorable um, godchildren, my uh, my actually my my stepson's little brother, he would say, "Holy Bebus Jeebus," or it was originally first, "Where is Bebus Jeebus?" because somebody had removed baby Jesus from the um, the thing they had up. So, and then later he was like, holy Beavis Jeebus. And I was like, okay, just, just, just say Beavis Jeebus if you can't say Baby Jesus. And then I shrunk it to Beavis Jeebus. Just, anyway, so they do uh, Baby Jesus in the, in the manger and all that fun stuff. And then as December comes through, they have these lifelike big statues and they move the wise men across the front uh, yard. They've got this big open area. And of course, boom, you know, there's maybe Jesus. And it's always, you know, Christmas, day after Christmas or something along those lines. Um, but uh, <coughs> yesterday, the wise men had still not found baby Jesus. Baby um, so their, their tracking skills were a little off. But today, oh, there's a party going on at the manger. Like, come on. Everybody's pretty busy, I guess. Anyway, I'll get back to my tea. I like it. I do. It, it, may, it does make me want to add something to it. It wants me to... It, it wants me. Yes, it wants me to do this. It says, it drinks a lot. Drink more. Mm. I like this because I know that I could add to it. Um, so I want to give this, definitely going to give this a three. <coughs> but the thing is that when you're on the road with the wolf, not a lot of time to stop and do your additives. And unless you're going to get something to eat where you can buy like a muffin and say, hey, could I have some honey where you can put it here, which you can do. You can snag this. You can go to McDonald's or someplace, get a biscuit. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. And ask for honey. Add it to it. Boom. There you go. But you're on the road. You don't want to have to mix some stuff unless you do your coffees. If you're a community coffee or whatever kind of coffee fan, um, where you take the time to get out there, pour the coffee in, do your all fun stuff, then this is not a big deal for you. But... If you do like unsweet tea and it's your jam, give this a shot. This is actually really good. As I said, I gave it a three. I'm going to go ahead and give this a five. And I know that sounds kind of like, geez, it's something you can add to, but definitely not something that I would drink on a regular basis. Um, if, it, if this is in my fridge, it's in my fridge to be made into something else. Um, like, for example, okay, if get this this is the base for some hot toddies and by the way I don't make hot toddies I make hot titties and by that di titties uh, not anything else but uh, I don't use as much whiskey uh, with the lemon and the honey um, it, it really kind of it's it so I, I drink more but I do drink more of it but I don't, I, it's too, if it's too much, I just can't really enjoy it, I guess. So it's, 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 I don't do, I do light hot toddies. Like I said, I drink some hot titties. Tid, just so you know. Um, all right, but besides that, number five on the list, um, Moonshine Sweet Tea Unsweet. This is a pretty good. I've tried the original. I've tried the honey with mint. If I find any others, I'll let y'all know. Uh, as always, I am Sir Drinks a lot, and I am wishing you health, wealth, and love with enough time and gusto to enjoy it all down to the last drop. Catch you guys in the next one. Like and subscribe and do that all the notification stuff and everything. Yeah. Happy New Year. <laughs>